Hey guys. All right. So if you are, if you are, if you have, if you have some gappy appointments this week or next week, um, I want to help you to develop a strategy that can help to fill as many of them as you possibly can for free and for minimal effort. And that is following up with clients who have not returned or have not come back in a little while. Um, some clients do not always rebook, but they still want to rebook. Um, some clients, and they just forget, they just get busy with their lives and they just forget or they put it off. Some people have been putting it off for so long that they feel almost embarrassed or ashamed to make another appointment because they think that you're going to judge them. And some people are just, they keep thinking about another, making another appointment, but they just keep forgetting about it or saying, I'll do it later. You know, I'm too tired. I've got to do this thing with the kids, like whatever. Um, and so if you, as the business owner, make it a habit for either you or someone on your team um, to reach out to these people that haven't rebooked and that haven't made an appointment either every week or every second week or monthly it's better to do it weekly I used to do it on a Tuesday like whatever my slowest day was that was follow-up day where we go back through our bookings from like four six eight weeks ago would see who had their you know extensions done or their lashes done um hey Leah and we would see who hadn't didn't have another appointment booked in and we would send them a message like this which I'm going to paste in oh no I pasted the wrong thing. Hang on. I'm going to paste in the comments right now. I'll read it out to you. You can use it. Um, and let me know how it goes. And I'll just explain to you how it works. So let me just, oh my God, I've lost the page that I'm on that shows the chat. Here it is. Okay. So a message like this is actually the best way to do a follow-up. Sometimes people will try and make them really professional um, or really long. And they don't ask any questions and they don't kind of like try to restart a conversation with someone or ask them if they want anything. It's kind of just like, you know, let me know if you want this, you know, if you want to make another appointment anytime, but it's not like directly asking them something to get a reply. So it's really easy for people to ignore you if you are too passive let's say, or you're too kind of like afraid of upsetting them or afraid of annoying them. That's a really big one that a lot of women in business struggle with, like with sales. We're like, we just don't want to annoy anyone or upset anybody. So I just avoid it altogether. And what if they don't like me? And what if they're not happy with their service? And that's why they're not coming back. So mindset wise, it's really, really important to think about to not jump to the worst case scenario, to not let that fear and anxiety win, to not think that it, people don't like you or they didn't like your business or that you're going to be annoying them and to really see it from the perspective of, look, they had this service because they wanted this service done. Um, it was good for them. They probably they loved it at the time. Like it would be good for them to have it done again. They will love, they will feel better about themselves. Um, it's important for them to get their maintenance done, especially if it is something like, hair extensions or lashes or hair color. Like if you think about what they're dealing with now, if they're, you know, gappy or they've all come off or they've got regrowth or um, if it's a body sculpting treatment or an injectable treatment they didn't come back for, but they need another session. Like it's your job as the professional, as the expert to, you know, to educate them and to lead them to nails. Thank you, Leah. I'm trying to think of other examples. <laughs> throw the examples at me my brain automatically just defaults into my own experience which is what always happens so sometimes people are like can you give other examples I'm like just throw one at me and I'll do it yeah nails exactly you need to, I need my nails done now they they're getting to that point um one of them's chipped and they're grown out so thank you yes nails so if they haven't rebooked their nails you have their number you could go and send this message or re write an actual example for you because this example was for lashes because that was for another client Hey, hun, or you put their name in there. Actually, Leah, give me a real example. Like what's a client's name who like maybe came in two, three weeks ago. She hasn't um, booked a refill yet. Hey, notice, uh, hey, notice. Hey, hun, or you could just go, hun. I noticed you had your nails done three weeks ago, but I haven't seen you back for a refill yet. 
yet is a powerful word as well because um, it insinuates that they will be coming back. Side story, I'm getting my kid, I'm making my kid practice saying yet because he has really low self-esteem, my seven-year-old, and he's always like, I can't do it. Like, I can't do this. I'm not good at this kind of thing. And I'm like, the other one's completely different, but I'm like, okay, we've got to practice saying yet at the end of everything that you say. I can't do it yet. <laughs> I don't know how to do this yet. <laughs> um, it's a really powerful word. Claire. Okay, cool. So, hey, Claire, I noticed you had your nails done three weeks ago. How many weeks ago was it actually? Let's, let's do a real one. Um, but I haven't seen you back for a refill yet. Just wanted to see how you're going, um, how your nails are looking. And if you'd like to make a time, uh, um, um, actually, I'll just really delete what I just did. Make another time at all. Um, I have a few spots available next week. That could work. Radio. So you could go and send this out. Oh, she's already booked in. She's the first one that comes to mind. Okay, cool. So she's a loyal every three-week girly, right? So you want more of those, right? So if you want more loyal every three-week girlies and you start sending this message out to the people who don't rebook, um, you are definitely going to turn some more of those into loyal regular three-week girlies because they feel cared about, they feel remembered, they appreciate the fact that you're checking back in with them. Because if you think about it, there's some statistics, it's like 95% of businesses never follow up with their customers. Like a huge amount of businesses just never do this or they don't do it regularly. They don't have a system for it. They don't, they just see it as like a waste of time or they're, they're, they're too focused all the time on bringing in new clients. And let me know if you relate to this. I see it so often and I used to be this person as well. Um, you just, new clients is like the dopamine hit that you want. It's exciting. It's the chase. It's like, you know, you 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 get one and it feels like a win. Like, yes, new client. But then if you're not um, maintaining and building a relationship with them and following up with them and like actually like nurturing a relationship with them, then you're going to always be stuck in that, like always needing new clients because your existing clients aren't coming back problem. And I did a whole little course about this that you guys should have access to if you're, I can't remember which month it's in, but it's called put the damn plug in because it's all about like, if you are trying to fill up a bathtub and the plug is out and the water is your customers and you're getting new customers, new customers, new customers, and then they're just going down the drain, you'll forever be trying to fill a bath or fill your business without the plug in. And it's just, it's, it's trap. So as soon as you pop that plug in and the plug is little systems like this, little follow-ups, little nurturing sequences, making people feel cared about, making them feel important because that's the core need of human beings. Every human being's primary need is to feel important in some way. And we all fulfill that in different ways for ourselves, but we really want to feel important and cared about from other people in our life, our parents, our partners, our kids, um, people we work with, our boss, you know. So if you can give that feeling to your customers and make them feel important and special and cared about, that's how you're going to get so many more of them coming in. And the best thing is once you've got a new client coming in, this kind of stuff doesn't cost you anything other than a little bit of time and a little bit of energy and a little bit of love. So um, make sure that you try this script and I would love for everybody who's watched this or watching this like go through your calendar today or your booking software today or as soon as you possibly can um, look for people that have come in and have not rebooked an appointment and they're due for an appointment and they don't have one booked in and go and text message them this message um, from your phone do it manually you can put their name in or you can just say hey hun um, if you'd like me to run my eyes over it before you send it out, after you've edited it, post it in the comments on this video um, and tag me and I'll have a look. And if I feel like I could tweak it a little bit, um, don't change it too much. Don't add too much to it. Don't like try and overcomplicate it because then people just get overwhelmed and they don't reply. So you want it really nice and simple. Um, and you could put your name at the end of it as well. So you could sign off with... Um, you know, Leah from, I can't remember the name of your business. Sorry, Leah. Leah from, you know, my nails. 
Um, and I'll just read your comment in a second, Leah. But yeah, let me know if that um, makes sense to you guys. And also think about it from the customer spec perspective from yourself. How many times have you been shopping around and being interested in something and like you're interested, but maybe, or you got something done and then you like never went back and they just never followed up with you. I know that's happened to me so many times. I was going to get waxing and brow lamination and spray tans done regularly with a local girl up here on the mountain. And I had, I went a couple of times, I had to cancel my last appointment for some reason, or it got post moved or something like that. And I just never rescheduled it. And I went back into my old habits of shaving and, and self tanning and just putting powder on my brows, which I'm actually fine with, by the way, like I, I'm very time limited, so it's fine. It works for me, but she never followed up with me. And I wonder sometimes as if she did follow up with me and said, Hey babe, I know I noticed you like to get waxed uh, once a month. Cause I literally told her, I'm like, here's some personal story for you, but yeah, my boyfriend works fly in, fly out. So I'd go and get a Brazilian wax done. Um, couple days before he got home <laughs> or the day before he got home because that's going to happen um I want to switch to IPO but I just haven't booked it in yet but anyway she could have if she remembered that about me and she wanted me as a regular client if she had sent me a little message that said like hey hun um and you know I noticed you were saying you wanted to get waxed re uh monthly but then like we had to reschedule your last appointment I'm so sorry um did you want to make another time to come in this month there's a high percentage that I'll be like, yeah, you know what? Yes, I do. Let's do it. Um, so it's really powerful. And the worst that's going to happen is they're not going to reply. It's really rare that anyone's going to reply and say they're unhappy with you. Um, but also you don't get if you don't ask. And that's just like a life lesson in every area of life as well. I feel like I'm giving you a real big pep talk. But in every area of life, you don't get unless if you don't ask. So if you want more people booking in, if you want more clients coming back, it is up to you. If you want someone, if you go to a restaurant, there's no salt and pepper on the table and you really want salt and pepper, you got to ask someone for it. <laughs> that was a personal story of mine when I started implementing this and learning this lesson. I used to just be like, oh, well, I'll just suck it up. I won't ask. I won't say anything. I'll just be the good girl. And now I'm just like, nah, I want this. I'm going to ask for it. Even from in my relationship now, my past relationships, I never asked for what I want. In my current relationship now, I'm like, hey, look, I need compliments to feel loved. My love language is words of affirmation. You're really good at them, but I don't feel like I've had enough this week. <laughs> or like, can you please tell me something about myself that you noticed or that you liked this week? And then he will. And I'm like, thank you. Now I feel good. But if I don't ask, I don't get so, yeah. Um, all right. Now, Leah, I'm coming back to your comments. Sorry, I've stopped. I've stopped. Finished waffling on. Um, no, for November, I'm going to offer a 50% off either full set pedicure or gel manicure with the client can choose whichever one uh, for just leaving a review either on Google or the Facebook business page. How do you feel about that? Oh, okay. That is a good question. I might immediate honest answer is I don't I don't like bribing people for reviews I think you could do 50% off for new clients with a voucher and then as long as the client is happy and they've had a good experience with you all you need to do is ask them really nicely can you pretty please um, leave us a google or facebook review if you are happy with your nails like take a picture of them upload a picture of them um, tell me what you thought about the experience one of the better ways to do it, actually, instead of giving them 50% off, because I feel like that kind of, it's like a bribe and I feel like it feels icky um, personally. I'd be more like, you know, leave us a review and you'll go in the draw to win your next set for free. We draw a winner every month. And that way you're only giving away one set for free. You draw a winner. Um, you could turn that into marketing. You could post it on your Facebook page. You could post it on your um Instagram stories or whatever and be like this month's winner um, for a free refill is you know whatever their name is um, and then it becomes more like a fun interactive kind of experience with your existing clients um, 
But I think if someone's really happy with your service, they are happy to leave you a review. You don't need to bribe them. You just need to ask them really nicely. Amy said the times I've asked someone for a review, trying to give them something, they don't leave the review. Yeah, I feel icky about it. If someone wants me to leave a review um, and I'll get a free, I saw one at a cafe the other day, like get a free coffee if you leave us a review. And I'm like, no, that makes me not want to leave a review. I just want to come here and get a coffee. And then if I'm really happy with the service or the coffee and you ask me really nicely to leave you a quick five stars or say how much I like the coffee, I'll do it. So that's my perspective and in my experience that's what's worked better I would start with not asking I'm not giving them anything not even doing the competition I would just start maybe for the month of November make it a personal goal project for yourself to just every single client you can send it out as a text afterwards as well if you want you could be like hey hey Leah it was so nice to um, see you and do your nails today I hope you love them um I really, really appreciate um, getting five, like reviews on my Facebook and my Google um, because it really helps my business. So if you're able to leave a really quick one or even upload a picture of your nails if you love them, I would love that so much from Leah. Here's the link. That's probably what I would say. Um, I should have written that down for you, shouldn't I? <laughs> we can turn that into a template, guys. We can. All right. Hang on, what comments did I miss? Um, oh my God, did I just not read your second comment about giveaway? I just went on about a whole thing about it and didn't even read that. How funny. Um, we're on the same page. Amy said, I love this. I'm going to do go through a few months back of bookings and pick the gems, write them a nice welcome back and see if they can rebook. Perfect. If you want me to have a look at it before you send it, um, post it here. Um, definitely you can go a few months back as well and just change that like, hey, hon, I noticed we did your, you know, what services do you do again, Amy? Sorry, my memory is terrible. Um, you know, we did your hair or whatever this long ago. Um, you know, I haven't seen you back again. I just wanted to know, you know, how, you, how your hair is looking or how your skin is feeling or, you know, whatever is appropriate. Um, and I've got a few available appointments this week and next. Um, if you'd like to come in again for a touch up or for your regrowth or whatever, like be really specific and say what it is that they kind of need as well. And then that feels more personal for them. Um, yeah. And then just send it out, but make sure it's a question. Make sure you're ending with like a question mark and you want them to respond. Cool. All right. So what did I just say? I can try and type that up for um, asking for a review and I will type that up because then I can add that into one of my little um, template banks for other people to benefit from as well. So um, if you were going to send a text to ask for a review, let's say, hey, name, it was so lovely to see you today. I hope you really love your insert whatever service you did. Um, I just wanted to know if you would be open to leaving me a really quick review on Facebook or Google because it really makes my day and helps and helps my business. Now, most people, while on, on this topic, most people do want to help people. Like it's in our nature. If someone needs help or asks for help or is really kind of like polite um, or asks for a favor, like we like to help people. We like to make people feel happy. So that's why this kind of strategy works quite well. Um, and helps my business. It's a love heart. Um, if you wanted to upload a pic, even would be amaze. Oh my god, someone's messaging me a lot right now. I'd so appreciate it. And then insert link to review. 
and then um, looking forward to seeing you again soon. Your name. There we go. That could be a nice little one that people can edit. Um, Amy said, sometimes people are so happy with their experience, they message me again after their appointment. And I've started saying, thanks, so lovely to meet you today. I would so appreciate your review to help my business grow. I'll send the link soon. Yay. Yeah, that's perfect. The other thing you can do if they do message you, which is with some nice feedback to say thank you and how much they love um, what you do, you can just screenshot that review as well and upload it as a picture to your Facebook, or upload it as a picture to your um, Google listing. So that's all I can do these days because I like when you have actual, you know, before and afters of hair or lashes or whatever, like that's your marketing. I don't have physical before and afters anymore. I just have what people say about me. So anytime, <laughs> anytime someone says, hey, Carissa, I got some bookings off one of your templates. I'm just like screenshot. That is my before and after picture. That is my marketing. Um, so yeah, you can definitely do that as well. All right. So let me know if you're going to do this. Um, I highly recommend that you do and that you also make it a part of your weekly routine. Schedule it in to do every Monday or every Tuesday, like pick a day of the week. And it, it really only takes like, I don't know, half an hour. Just go back through your bookings eight weeks ago, see who was in or three, like, you know, whatever the time is that they should have. Or even mark people, like if they come in and then they don't rebook, just ask them like, hey, would you like me to follow up with you? Um, you know, if they don't want to make a rebooking, they normally say yes. And then you can kind of make a reminder for yourself to follow up with that person in um, three weeks, four days, uh, three weeks, four weeks or whatever. This is the role of a salesperson. This is, if you had a job in sales, this is literally your job to like get people in, follow up with them build relationships, keep them coming back. You've constantly got to be selling people into everything at every step of the way in your business. And this particular method and strategy will help your books to be full. So if you have a goal for wanting to be fully booked now and into the future, it's likely that you won't achieve it unless you do something like this and you have a large, larger amount of people rebooking, at, but most importantly, feeling connected to you your brand feeling cared about etc because we're emotional creatures and it's not just all about the service and the money it's about how we feel so I'm going to end it there and yeah post your text messages in the group or in the comments here if you'd like me to have a look at them before you send them okay have an awesome day